What is up? It's a small engine Sunday. I'm gonna be doing some work on my Cub Cadet Zero Turn. So we're just doing some routine maintenance, starting with an oil change. Okay, this is a bit of a delicate maneuver. Okay, if you're like me, the first thing you need to do is dump out your bag of sockets. to find the right size. YouTube shortcut. Curveball. Don't need a socket. It's, uh, I'll show you, it's a weird square plug. I look like a, do I look like a male nurse? Right, so it's a weird square plug, so really we just need two wrenches. Here's the line for the dra oil drain right there, and then there's the plug. So it has a square plug, and you put two wrenches, get it un unscrewed. There's the plug. Now you wanna swap out the oil filter, which is right here. I'll give you a close up later. I got one of these Kohler maintenance kit. This is for a 7,000 series engine. That's what I have. It has a, everything you need, fuel filter, oil filter, spark plugs, etc. 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon. I'm sure you could get it cheaper, but just do it the easy way. So, yeah, you can kinda see it. There's your oil filter. You get a good, Oil filter wrench. I re recommend one of these, not one of these. And I forgot some oil is going to come out right there at the filter. So if you're like me, your driveway now has an oil stain. Congratulations. Now get your fresh filter out, get some of the oil, because you're going to want to dump a little bit in the fresh filter before you screw it in. And if you want to get scientific on the measurement, I'd say like approximately a, here, approximately like a dash. Just get some, some in there. And then screw it back in. Now a little insider pro tip, put the plug back in before you dump the fresh oil in. Okay, so you actually replace the oil right where the dipstick is. Get rid of that. Put your funnel in there and put two quarts right down the hatch. Sometimes I like to see how high I can go with the oil. All right, now pop in that dipstick and you are good to go. Just make sure you don't have any leaks. By the way, one of the worst parts is figuring out how to get rid of the oil when you're done, the used oil. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you a secret hack to do that. Now, let's finish up the rest so you can replace the inline fuel filter, which is right here. Just get a set of needle nose, pinch the clamps off. Hmm. Aha! Ooh. You ready to get some gas on your hands? You can clear the lines of fuel if you want, but that makes changing this a lot less fun and dynamic. Also, make sure this side, keep this line elevated or else you're gonna dump a bunch of gas everywhere like I just did. And then yeah, just pop the new filter in line, clamp it up and you're good to go. All right, now you got the air cleaner from your kit, which is right under here. Oh, yikes. Yeah, so this is why you want to swap these out. Super, uh, super sandy where I mow. Now you could probably just swap the outer and I could clean this off, but I got the kit. So I'm going to do the whole thing. There you go. So put the new cover on, just pop it in, pop the top back on, and you are done. All right, last thing is the spark plugs. There's one on either side. As you can see there's one right here. Just pop, it's hard to do one-handed. Ah, I'll be right back. My glove ripped. But yeah, pop that cable off. There's the spark plug. So you gotta go back to the pile of sockets you dumped out earlier and 
find the right one. YouTube shortcut. Well, that took forever, but it is a 5 8 inch, and I'm using this giant breaker bar for no reason at all. Yeah, okay. yeah so 5 8 inch socket, and don't use the biggest breaker bar you can find. Use a regular socket wrench. Hmm. Aha, look at that. Then same thing on the other side, right there. All right, just screw the new ones in. Just make sure you get the right side spark plug on the right side of the engine and the left side spark plug on the left side. Well, engine humor, just kidding. There's no sides. And if it feels like it's taking forever, it does, and you're right, and just reflect on some good memories and don't give up. And it'll be done soon. Oh yeah, for the oil trick. Okay, here's what you do. Pour out about two quarts of your roommate's stock of pepper. Crack that thing open. Get the funnel in there. And then pour your oil right in. Then once you seal that thing up, just put it right back in the fridge and wait. Hey man, do you know who's Dr. Pepper this is? Do you think I can have some? Yeah man, go for it. Cool, thanks. Ooh, this tastes a little funky. Is this expired? No, I don't think so. It goes bad. Ah. If you like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe. As always, don't take any of my advice. I have no idea what I'm doing. Good luck. Do I look like a male nurse? Aha! 40 pitch. That did not go super well. By the way, don't be stupid. That oil thing was a joke. Just take it to like O'Reilly's or whatever your auto store is. They'll recycle it.